let us discuss about a uh, advanced size reduction equipment called fluid energy mill it has other name as jet mill or even called as micronizer this is a peculiar machine which you have not seen uh, with these sort of attachments or these sort of uh, design uh, before getting into the uh, discussion of the design and construction, let us briefly see what are the principles involved over here. In a fluid energy mill, the particles are size reduced by two major mechanisms. One is impact, another one is attrition. And uh, let us see how this impact and attrition takes place within a fluid energy mill. So. I'm going to explain you the construction by another diagram. Uh, here it is the 3D diagram, maybe a bit confusing though the parts are marked. You can go through it in detail, but let us look into a classical textbook diagram uh, for the explanation purpose. This particular fluid energy mill has got an elliptical tube, as you can see over here, and it is it can have a height of 2 meters and diameter of 20 to 200 millimeters. So it can vary in size. And it is generally prepared of uh, my, um, my mill surface is prepared of steel or ceramics. And the grinding nozzle is uh, 2 to 6 in numbers. See, you can here uh, see at the bottom the grinding nozzles at the bottom and uh, let's see how this works then only we will be able to relate the parts this is an elliptical tube and this tube has uh, is been connected to a stream of compressed air at the bottom from the bottom a compressed air at very high speed comes into the uh, elliptical tube via fluid nozzles this high speed air will be circulating within the tube and will be escaping through an outlet uh, and where the particles are the particles are fed into the feed hopper over here that is the inlet and a venturi feeder actually controls the flow of particles the fed particles falls into the bottom of the elliptical tube and the high speed compressed air actually lifts the particles and uh, makes it to circulate through the elliptical tube. Once the particles are effectively size reduced, only the smaller particles will be passing through the outlet uh, because there will be a screen kept over there that allows the entry of final particles along. So this elliptical circulation of particles actually makes the size reduction to happen you can see here the compressed air at 600 kilopascals or to up to 1 megapascals is used and venturi feeder uh, is used as well as the outlet is connected to a cyclone separator for separating finer particles so now uh, for your wonder you can see this particular machine the fluid energy mill doesn't have any moving parts it is only a tube and air circulating into it. There is no other moving parts which are used for size reduction. Particles actually move at a very high speed. They hit together and they collide into the surfaces, the walls of the uh, tube and they get size reduced. And the entire impact and attrition happens during this flow. It is not by hitting made by means of any hammers or any other uh, objects. This is a photo of a fluid energy mill uh, and this is made up of stainless steel as we can see and all the discussed parts are available here. The air connections are also seen uh, and uh, there are valves to adjust the flow. Uh, 